What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Tyler Perry's Ruthless video if you're new. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for Ruthless Season 1, Episode 17. If you're a fan of Ruthless, if you love Ruthless, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Ruthless, you get them. Now this episode is titled Unnatural Acts and the description for this episode reads Ruth builds trust with Zane, Tally is suspicious of a woman's sudden interest in helping her, Andrew reveals Malcolm and Sarah's secret, and River talks to the highest about taking a wife. This was a pretty long episode. I noticed that episodes of this show usually run for like 40 or like 42 minutes or something like that, but this one was like 49 minutes. So it was a pretty lengthy episode compared to what we're used to. So it had a lot of stuff in there. You know, I thought it was a pretty good episode. Now, when the episode first starts, Oliver is walking with Elder Mother and he's walking her to her trailer and he's about to leave after he drops her off. But she has him come inside of the trailer and Elder Mother is just disgusting to me. The way she acts the way she is just everything about her i don't like she is my least favorite character on this show but she tries to get oliver to hold her and probably sleep with her you know she was trying to feel on him and stuff and she said it's been forever since she's been held and oliver was grossed the hell out he was like elder mother quit quit this is not appropriate you are the elder mother you are high in the ranks you can't be doing this but you just got to think about it like this. Everybody has needs. Even Elder Mother's old nasty ass. She has needs. You know, everybody does when it comes to sexual things. Everybody needs something every now and then. And that's exactly what she was trying to get from Oliver. Because she said he's a good looking boy and everything. And she was trying to spit her game. But it did not work. It seems like a lot of these people in this cult are breaking the rules. Nobody's supposed to be engaging in sexual activities and, you know, everybody's supposed to be staying pure and stuff, but nobody listens. Now, we get to Sarah and Mac comes over and Sarah tells Mac how Andrew was over and stuff, but she won't tell Mac what Andrew said. Mac is demanding that she tells him what Andrew said about the case or anything else, and she won't. Because she says that, you know, Andrew going undercover and everything involving this cult already messed up her life enough and she's not going to tell him shit. We get to Daikon in the Punishment trailer with Ruth and Zane. And Ruth is still whooping the hell out of Zane. And while she's doing it, she gets on top of Daikon. You know, he's still playing with himself and she gets on top of him and she has sex with this dude again. You know, she can't be liking this at all. I know she's doing this because she wants to get out of there, but she needs to find another way because I'm sorry, this is not the way. Daikon leaves after he's done and Ruth goes up to Zane, takes her down from being tied up. And she says to her like, look, we need to trust each other. If it was Daikon or Elder Mother punishing you, it would be a lot worse. She said she tried to take it easy on her. So these two are probably going to try to get together in the future and escape. You know, now that Ruth knows that she can start trusting Zane, these two are going to start discussing ideas. Now, next, we get to Mac and he makes a phone call to Malcolm and creepy ass Malcolm is already sitting outside of Sarah's house. So Malcolm says that he'll try to talk to her. Now, Joan, this woman who's supposed to try to trick Tally, comes to talk to her. You know, Elder Mother sent her on this mission to try to trick Tally. She basically has to pretend that she wants out of the compound. She has to act like, you know, she wants out of there to see Tally and Ruth's reaction, to see if they want to go with her. And if they do, then they know that they're not loyal. So this is just a test. So she comes to talk to Tally. Now, Tally is smart and she doesn't say anything. She doesn't give up any info at all. This woman keeps talking and she keeps trying. She won't give up. And she said she got in contact with her uncle 
and her uncle is supposed to be meeting her somewhere next time they go to the grocery store and she's gonna be escaping. So she asked if Tally wants to come with her. Now Daikon walks in and Tally tells on Joan and she did the right thing because obviously Joan is the mole and Tally was very suspicious of her because she never talks to Tally. And then out of nowhere, she comes in there acting like that. So Tally did the right thing. She used her brain and Daikon says how he's so proud of her, how she's been doing right by the cult and everything. And then he asked about Ruth. He said, does Ruth talk about me and stuff? Just like how guys be doing, they be asking females or even their friends like, hey, does she talk about me or whatever? So he came in there asking Tally because this dude is infatuated by Ruth. This dude is literally sprung. Ruth is working that magic on Daikon. She definitely is making progress on this dumbass dude. That's why she's gonna escape eventually. And it's gonna be all because Daikon fell for the tricks. Now, Malcolm goes and talks to Sarah. And of course, Sarah tells Malcolm that Andrew knows everything about them. She says that Andrew knew about them way before he went on the assignment and he filmed it and everything. And Malcolm can't believe it, but Malcolm probably had something to do with it. He probably set it up so that Andrew found out. And then Sarah is like, I need you to hold me and stuff. And I'm just so sick of these two. Honestly, I hate Sarah on this show. She is a beautiful woman, but I cannot stand her character at all. I do not like her character. Next, we see Andrew go to talk to Cynthia, and he tells Cynthia everything about how Malcolm is sleeping with Sarah, his wife. He tells her how long it's been going on, and she's wondering why Andrew didn't come to her sooner and tell her the truth. And he said he's been away on an assignment, and he hasn't had the chance to come and tell her. But Andrew gives her the keys to his house to go and catch these two in the act having sex. Next, it shows these dudes and they're taking a shower and they're talking about River and the highest. And then River gets in and he's questioning them, wondering what they're talking about, wondering what they were saying about the highest because he heard the highest name. And this dude River acts like he's in love with the highest or something. These dudes are always getting jealous of each other. River gets jealous of Daikon and Daikon gets jealous of River. Like, damn. Next, Ruth goes to see William and she says that she prepared him some food and he's not trying to take it because he said if the highest catches him eating some food, he's gonna be punished and that's just sad. That's literally sad that if this dude gets caught eating food, he'll be punished. Like, are you serious? Eating food is just a natural thing. That's what you're supposed to do and he's not even allowed to do that. But Ruth is trying to get William to trust her. You know, she's gonna be working with William and Zane and probably Paula too in the future and these people are probably going to escape. Now Andrew goes to see Mac. Andrew's waiting in Mac's room and Mac is ready. He has that pistol, that Glock with him. He's like, man, what are you doing? You should be knocking. But Andrew talks to Mac about all the evidence that he has and stuff. You know, he doesn't have a lot of evidence enough to put them away, but he's still working on the case. But I guess Andrew really is with the FBI. It seems like he's with the cult, man, just based off how he be acting. But I guess he really is tricking the cult and he still is with the FBI. So that's good to know. That's really good to know that Andrew did not get flipped by this cult. He's just playing along. But Mac wants answers. He's asking Andrew why he hasn't reported. You know, Andrew says because he's being watched. He can't call nobody, he can't do nothing. And then Mac also wants to know why he gave the cult all his money. And he also wants to know why Andrew didn't give it to his wife, Sarah. And Andrew is just like, man, that bitch don't deserve nothing. And he doesn't tell Mac what's going on with his wife. But when Mac finds this out, it's gonna be crazy because Mac be calling Malcolm all the time to go on his little runs and stuff. And if he finds out that Malcolm is sleeping with Andrew's wife, there's gonna be some crazy drama in the FBI. And then Andrew leaves and Mac tells him that he better start reporting back to him and 
that he hopes he finds some good evidence soon so they can put all these cult dudes away. Now Ruth meets Tally and asks if she talked to William and how things went in the punishment trailer. And of course, Ruth tells Tally that she had sex with Daikon again. I love Ruth and Tally's relationship. They talk about everything and these two are so close and I love their little plan to try and get out of here. These two have been sticking together from the very beginning and I love their relationship. But Ruth said to Tally straight up like, having sex with Daikon is disgusting and she doesn't like it, but she has to do what she has to do. And then Tally tells Ruth about Joan, how Joan came to her and she thinks that she's the mole. And Ruth is kind of stupid at this part. She's like, maybe she's not the mole. Like, what if she's not? What if that was our way out? Like, Ruth, you need to think a little bit. Come on now. Tally was really smart in this episode. And Ruth was being kind of stupid at this part. But she said she's going to go and try to talk to Joan herself in the punishment trailer. Now, Zane goes to see Sister Paula. And she's really messed up. She's in the bed and she's still messed up from drinking that bleach. Tally walks in on Zane. Zane asks Tally if she can get something for Paula, you know, something for the pain from the kitchen, since Tally and Ruth seem to know where all the pain pills and the anxiety pills and stuff are. So Zane was asking for a favor. Now, Joan was not in the punishment trailer at all. So Tally was right about her. And since she wasn't in the punishment trailer, that told Ruth right there that, you know, she was in on something, that she was the mole. Because if she's not in the punishment trailer, that's weird as hell. Because Daikon specifically told Joan to get her ass to the punishment trailer. You know, Joan probably went to see Elder Mother because Joan didn't really do anything wrong in Elder Mother's eyes because Elder Mother is the one that sent Joan to go and do this. So she didn't do anything. Therefore, she would not have to get punished. But yeah, Tally was right about her, and now Ruth sees the truth. Now, River goes to see the highest. He says, man, your watchdog wouldn't let me come and see you earlier. I was weak because this dude, River, seems to really, really love the highest. He might even love the highest more than Daikon. I don't know, though, because these two dudes be acting like they're head over heels for the highest. Like, come on, man, this dude is not all that. Just because he's the leader of some cult does not mean he's God. The highest really ain't shit. As soon as Lilo popped up, the highest was shitting in his pants. So the highest needs to quit acting like he's so damn tough. Now, River asked the highest if he's ever thought about taking a wife. And the highest said, definitely not. I'm pure. I can't be laying with a woman. That's not going to happen. And River said it might not be a bad idea. You know, for the new recruits, people coming in that are new, they can see that the highest has a wife. Because River even said to the highest that he be having all types of dudes come in and out of there. And that just looks weird. But the highest says there's nothing going on with all these people that they just come in and out of there to do what he asked. Now, Daikon comes and talks to Oliver and he questions him. He asks Oliver if he's been following River. And he says, where is River at right now? Oliver says that he's in his trailer, which was a lie because he was literally in the trailer that they were standing in front of talking to the highest. And Oliver didn't know. So River must have snuck in the back door or something like that because he was definitely in there with the highest. And then Daikon says, you know, the highest is higher than Jesus, right? Which is complete bullshit. Like, come on, man. They really believe this dude is that powerful. Like, come on, man. He's just a leader of a cult. These people are so brainwashed. There's a few that know what's going on that want to get out. But for the most part, these people are brainwashed. And I hate seeing this. Because there really do be some cults in real life, man. I read a lot of stories on cults back in the day. And people really do be getting brainwashed by stuff like this. And this is just crazy that you know people actually believe these sorts of things now cynthia comes into andrew's house to bust sarah and malcolm and she walks in the room when they're having sex actually she doesn't walk in the room she busts in the room she comes in there fast as hell and then malcolm pulls out a gun on cynthia and points it at her like dude why are you pointing a gun at your own wife are you kidding me 
I can't believe he did that. But I'm sorry they ended the episode right there because I want to see what happens next. But next episode is going to be good. I cannot wait for the next one because it's going to open up right where we left off. And I can't wait to see it. But this was a pretty good episode. What did you guys think of this one? Comment down below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Comment your thoughts, theories, predictions, everything else down below in the comment section. Keep supporting your boy and I'll be continuing to bring y'all ruthless videos in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.